a $400,000 metal cutting robot, or me with basic hand tools and a bench drill. Mark out the line. How big will the difference be when we're making a very basic bracket for my 3D printer? And if you stay for the end of the video, you will be surprised. While printing some of the final parts for the solder stencil robot, it crashed again. And this time, really bad, destroying the entire extruder. An extruder pushes out melted plastic through a nozzle on a 3D printer. The replacement parts I had did not fit directly, but it needed a custom bracket to make it work with my 3D printer. The extruder sits directly onto the metal plate, holding both the extruder and the wheels. So the wheel screws have to be countersunk into the bracket. I don't have any tools for making countersunk holes in brackets, so I decided to make the brackets out of two parts. Then I can bolt them together to make one single bracket with countersunk holes. Now let's make the bracket. Umi started by marking out where the holes should be, then make a proper 90 degree line to mark the holes positions in the other direction. We'll mark the center of the holes with a compass. Uh, yeah, that took too much time. I have a broken 3D printer. Not a broken printer printer. Let's apply some water out glue to my printer printed bracket and mount it to my metal plate. Now let's center punch the holes, cut off the first part of the bracket with the miter saw. Now place the center hole punched bracket on top of the metal plate again and start drilling out the holes. Start with small drills, then bigger ones. Next, make threads where the screws and deburr it. And then, let me try to cut off my hand. A slight sanding will make it look nice. A bit more deburring as the final step. Screw it together. And of course, as a 3D printer person, we need to fill out everything at the end. When I tried to mount it to the 3D printer, it did not fit. I had made the screw holes for the extruder into the wheel screws, so I had to create a new one. The first bracket took me about 2 hours to complete, the next was about 1 hour. This got me thinking, how long time would it take a proper robot to do this? I asked my friend who runs a machine shop, how long would it take to make this bracket? His software said a couple of minutes, and he said you can make it and send it to me for free. I have the bracket it made in those two minutes right here. Before we have a look at it, let's see how a $400,000 robot makes my bracket. not have a metal shaping robot can't stand it so i spent the weekend building one but now i need to print the parts for the solder stencil robot 
Suppose you want to see more of my metal cutting robot and the solder stencil robot, subscribe to the channel and go check out these really cool full metal keycaps my friend with a robot sells. Links is you know where.